Hey guys, Krista Jones here from Davey and Krista. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Light Widget. So one thing I love about White Light Widget is that if you click on any of the images, they actually link directly to your Instagram feed. Um, this widget you will need to pay $10 for in order to upgrade it to work on your HTTPS site, um, which is something we highly recommend having. Um, there is a free version, but it's not going to work on any HTTPS sites. Snap widget is always free, but again, it's not going to link directly to your Instagram feed. In order to make a feed that works with your account, you can sign in or create an account. So I'm just going to click continue with Instagram. And it should pull in your Instagram name automatically, um, or you might need to log in depending on how you create an account. And I personally like the grid and you're going to choose the number of columns and rows based on your template. Um, so if I was doing the Whitehaven template, it has six horizontal images. So I would do six columns and one row. I don't want an image hover effect unless that's something you really want. I want a little bit of padding. I want them to be square. I personally don't like captions. Uh, click actions, I want them to go to the post. And once you've done all that, you can hit preview just to make sure it looks good. And then you just hit get code. And so I would copy this code and then I would come back to show it. So if you are adding this to one of our show it templates, most likely they have some placeholder images in here. You would just want to delete those images and click on embed code. And we're going to size this box so that it fits within the space. I'm going to make it a little taller and then I'm going to center it to the canvas. Then I'll come up to embed info and custom code and paste in my code. And I am just using a demo account, but if I actually had my real account, I would have paid the $10 to upgrade this. Um, and so you can just click on this once your site's live and upgrade it or go in, go in here and upgrade the widget. Um, and then the images would actually pull in on my HTTPS site. I'm also going to need to come in and size it on mobile because right now, if I just leave this box really big, even if the images aren't covering up the text, this box would keep us from clicking any of these links. So we need to make sure that those images um, and nothing is covering up those links. And we'll just size this so that it looks better on mobile. And then I would center it. Um, and once you've paid for it and hit publish, it should pull in your images. So if you are a WordPress user, when you're logged into your site on any page, you should be able to go to Edit with Elementor and Footer. And once it loads, we'll see a few options. Um, so I am going to use Light Widget, which is essentially the same as Snap Widget. So I would want to click this canvas, which is just using placeholder photos. And oh, I didn't actually click it. Um, there we go. I click on this section and I would want to hide it. So turn it all off on the visibility. I would want to come to this section. So I'm going to right click that and make it turn on. So I would select that. And then I would select this little box right here and click on edit and just delete the code that's in there because that's going to pull in our site um, and paste in your code. And again, if I had paid for this, you would actually see it pulling in the images. Um, so you can either hit upgrade now right here or you can come in and upgrade the widget right here. And once you do that, you should see your own Instagram feed. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at DaveyandKrista.com.